Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. How are you? Um, kind of sick, teacher. Nothing to learn. You got sick now on Friday? Uh, yeah. And also, I took the day off, but only at the afternoon, since afternoon until now. So you took I your afternoon off? Work at, yeah, I left the work at 12, 12 o'clock. Oh, and, yeah. uh, you, you got the flu? Yeah, but also I, I have a lot of heart of my feet. Feet is the plural, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of heart. It's oh it's pretty God. painful. And I have to go to the hospital because my mom says that maybe it could be like a spolong or something like that. Okay, uh-huh. <clears throat> so it was like I was, I, I'm all the time uh, was sitting, but it hurts at the same time. Even if I'm sitting, I was sitting, so I don't know. <clears throat> And then when I arrived to my home, I was like kind of uh, had a little flu and also like headache. And, oh my God, what's that? That was weird Friday. Yeah, because, well, uh, it's Friday, the body now it's sits. Friday. So you, <laughs> exactly. You need, you need so, to be uh, with energy, yeah. right? What? You need to have with the energy enough in order to, to stay alive the Friday. And that, well, on weekends. Exactly, exactly. But the point is that, well, maybe that could be what I needed because I was so, so tired all this week because on sa the last Saturday, I didn't rest anything. So it's like my, my body se resintió. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now uh, I, I rest all day afternoon. Okay, good, awesome. Yeah. How you get better? Thank you, teacher. Um, in the WhatsApp, I wrote to you that I'm going to be as a listener, but if I can, uh, but I will be connected all the all the two hours. Okay, very nice. Just let me know. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Very nice. Good. Thank you. Okay, students, good evening.
Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Awesome. Ready to end the week because it's Friday? Yes. Yay. Yeah, but for me now, right? But for you is good because I have to work tomorrow. But I'm happy for you. Okay, very nice. And of course, after uh, this class, we're going to miss just two classes more. And then you're going to have done with model intermediate four. Yes. Okay, very nice. Um, how about you today? How was your day, people? We'd like to listen to you. Debbie, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my day was good. <laughs> was Much better than was yesterday. <laughs> because it's Friday? No. Yes. No, yo, uh, I'm working. I, como sería? I, I, you worked on Saturday? Yes, I'm working Saturday. Okay. So, on the 12 and uh, the medio de día. <laughs> ah, este, until but, 12, uh -huh. Yes, but finally finish, finish the kid. <laughs> yes, so. that's <laughs> Okay, very nice, awesome. What about you, Mariano? How are you? Hi, Disha. How are you? Very good. What about you? Uh, everything okay, Disha. What's a good day today? Awesome. And do you work tomorrow or is free weekend for you? It's free weekend for me, Disha. <laughs> awesome. Very nice. Good. Good and bees that I feel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice. You only rest on Sunday. Uh, yes, I only rest on Sunday. Huh? It's difficult, Tisha. It's difficult life because I work uh, from Monday to Saturday, almost a whole Saturday day. Saturday all day. Yes, until 5 p.m. From 7 oh. a.m. until 5 p.m. So the, the Saturday is an ordinary day. Yeah, it's a normal day for me. Uh, Normally, I have just um, some Monday, some mornings free on Monday and Tuesday, but the rest of the okay. days I'm busy. But uh, you have the morning on Monday, it's, uh, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, because on Monday I have time to rest and to do my stuff or my family stuff. Yeah. The, mor the morning Monday is the best part of the week <laughs> <laughs> for me yes for me it's like different schedule right because you you decide or you wish to be on saturday or maybe on sunday yeah. and i wish to be on sunday and on monday <laughs> yes yeah okay very nice what about you vanessa good evening welcome Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very nice. And you? What about you? How are you? Mm, fine, teacher. My day was okay. I have to work. And in my case, I have to work tomorrow. And it's so sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, but okay, we have to get accustomed to. Uh, no, teacher, I don't like to work on Saturday. <laughs> I want to rest. <laughs> Uh, I think nobody likes to work, but we have to <laughs> yeah. <live. laughs> this is the life. <laughs> yeah, it's life, okay? <laughs> Very nice, kid. What about you, Aminda? Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very nice. What about you? Fine. Today, awesome. today was a, a busy day, but... Five because I completed the my all uh, target. Oh, that's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. So you feel uh, you feel happy because you accomplish everything. 
Yes. Yes. That's good. That's perfect. But tomorrow is free for you, right? Yes, I, I, it's free for my work, but I had uh, so many activities in uh, in the school for my daughter and son. Ah, uh, okay. Well, but it's going to be like kind of relaxed, not 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 like the job, right? Yeah, because it's the different activities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. It's, you're going to have like some a uh, different view of everything. You're going to brief something different, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Good, I mean that. Okay. Okay, very nice. Uh, let me see. Adela, good evening. How were you sleep? No. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we're the energy, right? Uh, no, today, uh, today we celebrate Children's Day. So uh, it was very good. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I listen to you with energy. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you work tomorrow? Uh, yes, in the afternoon. Ah, in the afternoon. So you're going to have the, the morning free? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Awesome. Very nice. Thanks. Okay. What about you, Carlos? Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. I am How, are you? How are you? Very nice. What about you? I have a normal day. Today is easy day. Oh. Okay, very nice. Are you are you still in your way home? Yes, right now. Okay, very nice. Be safe, okay? Thanks. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Good. Okay, so we're going to start with the class because it's a it's almost one of the last ones, okay, that we're going to have. So we have to finish this model. But as I told you at the beginning, you need to stay uh, with the two hours classes because there are some of you that have um, the limit of the minutes in order to complete the 80%. Okay, so okay. as soon as you listen to your name, please tell me present, okay? Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay, I can my, hear your teacher. Yeah, my microphone was off. Uh, Aminda Rene Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Very nice, good. Present. Ya me puso. Yeah, yeah, ya le puso. Okay. Usted, le, usted leyó mi, mi, mis labios, ¿verdad? Cuando estaba hablando. Creo que sí. Ok, very nice. Ya está programada usted, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, Belén Batre García. Present teacher. Very nice. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar Anulfo Viator Herrera. Present. Okay, Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López.
Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Ok. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ok. Bernas. Okay. Now. Okay, students. So, what do you remember about yesterday class? What do you remember? I remember the measures about the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was about inventory management, right? Okay, very nice. Good. So, we're going to work today with um, some interesting part that we have to take a look, right? Of course, yesterday at the end of the class, we watched some adverts, right? You remember that we want watch some adverts? There are the ones that we're going to start work um, from this part of the class. Let me know if you can watch the screen. Yeah? Do you remember this conversation? Yes. Okay. So we were watching yesterday this advert consistently, properly, accurately, easily, right? Okay. So this is a way in order to talk about with adverts and to use them in a conversation, okay? Uh, I think that you finished this, this answer, right? Yes. Okay. okay, awesome, very nice, kid. So what about number one? What are some George that practice in inventory management? According to the conversation, what is some of the bad practices that um, George had? Yes, Yvette? Uh, he keeps not on uh, any scrap of paper. Uh, uh, I have a question. El yes. toma nota sería, he keeps or he take? Take, no. takes, take, takes. Takes. Yes. He takes note on any scrap of paper. Okay, very nice. He takes notes and crop of paper. Very nice, good, awesome. What about number two? What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues? Hmm? What about the rest? What do you have in there? Susan recommend to him implement a manager system in order to to get a control and have available the information in it. Okay, and managing, okay, very nice, good, awesome. To use a good way in order to handle with the uh, uh, inventory correctly, right? What about the rest? Do you have the same or something different? What about the recommendation about using a spreadsheet? Do you remember what spreadsheet was? Yes, teacher. It's a like to Excel. Okay, you now have a calculator, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Also recom recommend record notes constant consistently. Okay. Record notes there consistently. Okay, it says that if he if he uses as free sheet is going to record notes there consistently. So it means it's going to be better. It's going to be an efficient way in order to use it, right? Okay. Uh, number three, what is another suggestion you could give George to get his inventory organized? Okay, this is just for you individually. What is one of the recommendations that you, you should give to him? Review the labels. 
in the package because some labels quality. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. Quality. Quality. Qu quality? Uh, falling, the labels are falling in the package. Ah, the yeah. package. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. yes, the packages. The recommendation is also uh, look the labels in, in, in put the, the, in the correct way the labels in physically. Ah, good, awesome, very nice, awesome. What about the rest? What do you have in there? What recommendations uh, would you like to give to George? Um, he could define ABC of products. ABC of products? Yep. Okay, very nice, good. Awesome, what about the rest? No suggestions? Okay, very nice, good. Let's go with the next part. Okay, very nice. Uh, yesterday we saw the chart. Do you remember yesterday? That we, were, we talked about how to use Albert to qualify verbs, right? No. Uh, yesterday I told you about this. Ah, yes. Ah, but only in the conversation. Uh -huh. Only in the conversation. Uh -huh. yes, the next part we play. No, no. What I, what I mean is that I told you yesterday we're going to work with adverbs. Ah, okay. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So uh, we're going to uh, let know how to use adverbs. Okay. A way of using adverbs is to qualify another adverb, another verb, an adjective or something like that, right now. So a adverb works in order to give um, some different uh, point of view about talking. For example, if you look, if you read this, I would like to, let me listen to Debbie, can you please read it? Teacher, sorry, how am I doing? Okay, 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 very nice, good. Enjoy it. Thanks. La Let me listen to Adela. Use adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, who, often, how much, or the what degree, the quality by the action and the claims we make. Very good. All the time we talk about adverbs, we talk about where. Okay, a adverb works in this way. Un adverbio nos sirve para esto. To talk about where, when, why, how, how often, how much, and what degree. They qualify the actions and the claims we make. So when we use adverbs, they give a classification or they give a different perspective about talking to what is the action and qualify them. For example, if we, uh, let's go to the conversation here, okay? And it says, I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet sheet and record notes there consistently. What do you think consistently mean in that sentence? Maybe do it uh, every day. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Always, always do something. Yeah. 
Okay, yes. It's a, a way of using something daily, right? Daily. So it means that he has to use a spreadsheet not only one time, not only uh, two times. He needs to use it every day, daily, daily, daily life, right? Okay, good. What about properly? The correct way, something like that. The correct way, yes. Okay, how to be labeled inventory properly. Okay, and accurately. What do you think accurate uh, means in that sentence? Or what do you work for? Mm -hmm. Students? I don't know how to say in English, but it's like preciso, precisamente. Yes. So when we talk precisamente, it's like to say, to use or to apply something like it should be, right? In the right way. So that's why it says label inventory properly. You ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots. Lo que acá le dice, ¿verdad? Que si usted usa el inventario de la manera apropiada, apropiadamente, se asegura de que los productos estén, ¿verdad? En el lugar correcto, right? Very nice, good. And when we say easily, as a way to say that something is better because it's not going to be difficult according to the process you have been, right? Okay, los adverbios entonces nos están diciendo acá, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo? ¿Y con qué frecuencia? ¿Verdad? Ok, ¿y qué tanto? ¿Verdad? ¿O con qué eh, proceso de medición? ¿Verdad? Se puede hacer, ok. Por ejemplo, si tenemos esta primera or, 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 uh, sentences, oration, les iba a decir, sentences, ok. Si tenemos esta primera sentences, organize your inventory efficiently, okay. What do you think this is a meaning that is using? Uh huh. Students? Maybe maybe uh -huh. is is maybe is avoid to waste time space of the warehouse maybe something like that something like very, that very nice good to take care about the uh, everything right yeah okay very nice good if you may if you want these ones all of these um adverbs. They are trying to give us a way how to do it, okay? If you look efficiently, accurately, consistently, slowly, regularly, and incrementally, okay? So all of these before they were adjectives, for example, this one, efficient. So in order to make them a, Adverb, we just add Lee efficiently and now becomes an adverb. Accurate, accurately. Adjective, adverb. Consistent, consistently, adverb. Adjective, adverb. Adjective, adverb. Adjective, adverb. So in this case, we need to know that they were adjectives before they become adverbs so they all they are always adjectives so it's easy for us because when we talk about adjectives it's a way to talk about something uh how is something right but with adverbs we give some like this part of explanations on how to use it how often why and when and where right very good so adverbs are easily to use because they are always they almost go at the end of the main sentences. Casi siempre van al final cuando se quiere hablar de algo, ¿verdad? 
o si van en un párrafo, van al final de la oración en la cual yo quiero expresar algo. Ok, claro, continúa después otro proceso, pero va al final del proceso que yo quiero mencionar. Así que esto de los, de los adverbs is easy because es como los adjectives, ¿verdad? Aquí lo que hacemos es que les agregamos el i y los convertimos en, ad, en adverbs. Teacher, yes. all, the, all the adverbs finish in L-Y. L-Y, no, there are some adverbs like well. Oh. Well is an adverb oh. and it's now ending with um, li. Okay, so there are some, um, in this case, different way of um, adverbs. There are oh. some of them that are not done, finished with L-Y. Okay. Okay. What, a, what about the rest? Do you have any question? Not teacher. No, okay, very nice. Okay, I'm going to erase it. Okay. So, um, we have the description of naming the steps to organizing inventory management. Here we have a way in order to organize an inventory ma management. So you're going to uh, take a look of this, okay? Uh, you're going to start organize product and vendor information, create and submit a accurate purchase order, receive inventory with speed and accuracy, uh, tag and label inventory, record yourself. So here we have some uh, explanations or some concepts. So you need to uh, label uh, which one is going to be first with the, okay, the concept and so on, right? You need to look for the correct um, uh, meaning or the correct order in order to create uh, an organization inventory step, right? So you're going to be working right now in this. I'm gonna give you a few minutes. And then we're going to come back in order to prepare the next activity. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay. Carlos, are you still in your way home? I can participate. You you can participate right now? Yes. Okay, very nice, good. Walter, are you ready? Yes, I am here. Okay, very nice, good. Mariano, you're ready, right? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, very good. Okay, Adela, yes. Belen, are you know, uh, yeah, Belen, are you going to be ready, Belen? Okay, there we go. Me sacó, teacher. ¿Le sacó, Debbie? Sí. Ah, es que me aparece conectada con dos veces, fíjense. Mm -mm, pero solo estoy en la tablet. Debbie, me está asustando usted. Aquí me aparece dos veces. <risa> Así me sale a mí también, pero no, yo solo estoy en mi tablet. Oh my God, hay otra Debbie. ¿Quién será la, la Debbie Debbie? <risa> no sé. Ok, ahorita, no ahorita sé, le envío. Ok, teacher. Okay. 
Qué raro. Ahí viene el teacher. Hay que preguntarle por qué. Ahí viene el teacher, estás es inquieta. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. ¿Qué pasó? Please. ¿Qué pasó? <risa> eh, Debbie appears to in two rooms. <risa> yeah, verdad que no es mentira, ¿verdad? Vale. No, no es mentira, pero dice que solo está conectada en la tablet. Sí, yo le digo que, que, que tenemos que averiguar quién es la verdadera Debbie. El infiltrado. Anda, anda, anda alguien infiltrado ahí. Jale, a ver quién andará vigilando. <risa> ok. So we we'll read the second definition. Mm -hmm. uh, get all of your product and vendor information organized in a one place. Product information, description, and shipping information includes as well as business name and business contact info. Maybe it's organized product and vendor information, I think. You want to record what the product was sold, what the product listed prices, discount, and what price was actually paid for the product. Did you say is right? Spanglish. Uh -huh. Like Spanglish. Vendo. <laughs> Vendo. So is organized product and vendor information. Okay, okay. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused, confused about the product's price. Create a soon accurate piece or huh? <laughs> create a soon. Create and submit a cure for two orders. In cashiers, I'll confuse around your product, by the way. Tag and labels inventory. Tags and label inventory. Here we go. Uh, number three uh, uh, can be tagged on labeled inventory. Mm, number four. Mm, tengo duda. Eh, create and submit accurate for charge orders. Number four. Puede ser. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, no. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Create and submit. 
Sí, porque la última sería recibir las órdenes. Primero hay que yeah. hacerlas y luego. Mm -hmm. Wait and submit. Okay. Purchase orders. Purchase orders. And the last, the last one, receive inventory. Speed and accuracy. Accuracy is accuracy. Precision. Accuracy. Accurate, accurate, accurate. Precise information, precise and accurate. I don't mean. Pero el examen lo hace, lo pueden... Eso siempre lo hacen. Teacher, uh -huh. welcome again. Welcome, welcome. Do you finish already? <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. You are... Hoy se andan con toda la actitud, ¿verdad? ¿eh? It's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. And because you're almost in to finish the model, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, I ya hope van, so. Ya, ya van a descansar, <laughs> ya van a decir, ah, ya no vamos a hablar al teacher que nos tanto nos pregunta. No, it's not for the teacher, it's for the, the, the time. The, the time, yes. <laughs> teacher, yeah, maybe, I... maybe, maybe, maybe uh, we are proposed the, the, the reduce the, the time of the class, maybe one hour, half. I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe to, to, que from sería desde las 8 hasta las 10. No, perdón, 8, no. 9 y media. De no, me sí. no mm. Yes, because well, it's, it's, it's kind of uh, heavy to us every day. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not sure if they are going to um, accept that proposal because they have been working that way for a long time, but you can try. <laughs> 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 no, that, I, I'm being sincere, right? I'm trying to be sincere. Okay. I'm not in charge of that because I'm just in charge of fishing, right? But I've been working with them for more than two years and they have been working like in this way. And and maybe it's the requirement but, uh, by the... In but in support, maybe. Yeah, that's what happened because in support requires at least um five hours um five hours ten hours per week. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's the problem. So we have to um to catch that ten hours. If if we do one hour and a half, we're not mm -hmm. going to cover the ten hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know it's it's kind of difficult right but um yeah yeah um, so we we don't have uh, any emotions yeah because mm -hmm. imagine if we uh, make these classes from imagine imagine from saturday from 7 to 12 and from Ma and from sunday from 7 to 12 is going to be too much time too it's going yeah. to be tired right mm. okay okay but at least i congrats you because um from the rest of the group, there are you three are always active in the class, um, but there are some students that I don't know what is the objective of being in the in the course because all the time they are just listeners. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, yeah. Haven't you noticed? Because there are many students uh, that they have been just for listeners, the whole module. Whole um, module. 
Yeah, in the whole model. I don't know what 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 is the objective for them because they have been in that way. And imagine if you don't participate and if you don't practice mm -hmm. with your classmates, so boring. You're not going to learn, right? Yeah, I'm really. Too. Yeah. Um. Of course, you're going to have the minutes. You're going to have all the requirements, but the learning process is not going to be the same. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. We're going to be back right now. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. The mic, the microphone is off. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, it it, happens. Okay. The teacher uh, don't want to talk with us. Today. I want, I don't want to talk to you, but I feel that so emotion that I forgot to turn on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Did you finish? Yes, I hope so. Okay, very nice. We're going to check. Okay. Okay, so we have this part. Um, we're going to make the same dynamic. I want you someone to read this. I don't know who wants to be the volunteer. Okay. Okay, thank you, Yvette. Then uh, Rosibel, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, you want to record what product was sold, what products li listed, prices, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. Is yeah, you the uh -huh. what? Uh, record your sales? Okay, record your sales. Sales. Sales, okay, yes, very nice. Okay, you want to record what products, what sold, what products listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product, right? Very good, awesome. Recall sales. Do you have the same or do you have something different, rest of the class? The same. The same. Okay, very nice, good. Let's go with the next one. Rosibel, right? Oh, Rosibel or oh, Aminda, volunteer? Yeah, Ah, okay, okay, very nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, get up. Get up all your product and vendor information organizes in, in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info. Include as well the business name and business contact info. Okay. Get all of your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info. Include as well the business name and business contact info. Which one do you have there? 
organized product and vendor information. Organized product and vendor information. information. Yeah. This one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the rest? Do you have the same? The same teacher. The same teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. You are synchronized, right? Very good, awesome. Okay, let's go with the next one. Which one do you have in here? Mixture. Okay, very okay. nice, Amanda. And, and then the next. Okay. Okay, okay. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about our product price. Very Tag nice. and label inventory. Awesome, okay. Do this, your deduce, deduce, do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about the product's price. Okay, tag and level inventory. Do you have the same? Yes, teacher. Awesome. The rest of the class too, right? Good. Okay. Who was uh, talking at uh, the same time of Aminda? Who, want, who wanted to read? Me, teacher, but uh, please select another one because I participated. Ah, okay, very nice. Let mm -hmm. me ask Vanessa. Vanessa, okay. I know you want to participate with Vanessa. Yes, sure. Okay, thank you for volunteer, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, Grab a copy of your purchase order to check and cat cat catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Okay. Which one do you have in there? I have received inventory with speed and accuracy. Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Okay, Bruna, is the rest do you have the same? Yes. Okay, very nice, good. Mariano, you raise your hand, right? Yes, for sure. Thank you. And the number five, incorporate the purchase order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusion. And I don't know to share, I think create and submit the accurate purchase order. <laughs> <laughs> the most difficult, right, Mariano? Yes, yes. Okay, very nice, good. Create and submit accurate purchase order. This word is purchase. And purchases, right? Very good, awesome. Okay, students. Um, I know these are about others, but I'm going to show you a presentation about some uh, comparative and superlatives. Have you seen this topic before? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. We're going to yeah. take... No, okay, we're going to take a look just in a, in a brief explanation, okay? Le voy a dar una pequeña explicación because I think you already received this class, right? Ya antes la recibieron, ¿verdad? Okay, vamos a, vamos a hablar sobre comparatives and superlatives. Okay, what do you know about the usage of comparative and superlative? We, we need or we want to com compare two things to describe um, something is different entre, between these two things. Okay. It's like to compare and to talk about the difference between, between two things, right? Yeah, this is comparative and superlative only when I say one thing is the is the most about something. Okay, very nice, good, awesome. Someone else? Do you have another um, view or another uh, opinion about comparative and superlative? Thank you, Walter. Okay, we're going to start right now with this one. 
we have uh, here comparatives. Okay, I would like someone to read it. Okay, what about Carlos? Can you please read it? Okay. The comparative is normally used if you want to compare two things, people, etc. Okay. When we come, okay. okay. I'll stop there, okay. The comparative. Now we're going to focus just in comparative, not superlative, comparative. The comparative is normally used if you want to compare two things, people, etc. right? Okay, now, yes, go with the next, Carlos. Okay, when we compare using short words, one or two syllables, we add er plus tan at the end of the adjective. Okay, very nice. It says, when we compare using short words, one or two syllables, we add er and then at the end of the adjective. So it means, when we have an adjective that is short, is from one or two syllables, we just add er at the end of the adjective and then a dan, right? At the end of the adjective. For example, if we know that he's taller than me, the right adjective is tall without er, verdad? Sin el er es el adjetivo, right? Tall, alto. When we put ER, taller, más alto, right? Y el Dan nos, nos dice que quién, ¿verdad? Es más alto que quién, ¿verdad? Okay, he's taller than me. Él es más alto que mí, ¿verdad? Okay, more than. Cuando estamos hablando de esto, esto lo hace que diga más que. Más que, ¿verdad? Más alto que. Más alto que, ¿verdad? Aquí puede ser, he's, he's taller than Jose, he's taller than Luis, he's taller than Maria, he's taller than Susana, he's taller than me. So you can use it because it's a short word, a short adjective, one syllable or two syllable, we use ER, right? Okay, let's go with the next one. My car is cheaper than your car. Cheap. Barato, ¿verdad? When we put ER, más barato que. Cheaper than. My car is cheaper than your car. So, acá lo que hacemos es comparar dos cosas, ¿verdad? Una es más, aquí dice que es más alto que el otro, aquí dice que es más barato que el otro. Right. Any question on teacher? Not teacher. Yes. And, and we use, for example, the opposite, the opposite, a uh, 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 cheaper is expensive. Ah, uh, yes, Exp uh, cheaper and is uh, the opposite is expensive, right? Expensive, yes. When I use the exp the 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 world or the comparative expensive, maybe is we add the term la terminación r. No, no. That, yeah, eso eso lo que vamos a ir viendo ahorita más adelante. Ah, okay. okay. Good question. Good question. Okay. La pregunta que hace Amina, that's good because she is asking about what about the subjects that are more than two syllables. That's the ones we're going to uh, watch next. Okay. These are the short ones, the ones that are once or two syllables. Okay. Los que son de una o dos sílabas. Let's go with the next chart. Okay. This is uh, about how to add er to the chore adjectives so we have like some specific rules for example if an adjective ends in a one vowel plus consonant okay we double the consonant and add er for example consonant vowel consonant consonant vowel consonant consonant vowel consonant consonant vowel consonant se recuerdan de esta regla cuando vimos también eh, la regla de los plurales, ¿verdad? Do you remember cuando vimos también yes. lo de, los, de ING, yes. ¿verdad? Ok. Cuando terminan, uh, when they finish, and in, that, in this ending, consonant, vowel, consonant, 
we double the last consonant. Big, bigger. Hot, hotter. Thin, thinner. Fat, fatter. Okay, so this is uh, the way in order to add ER when they are short oh, and they end with consonant or vowel consonant. And then we have uh, another rule. If an adjective ends with a Y, and of course, and if it uh, followed by a consonant, we erase Y, okay, and add I, and after the ER. Si un adjetivo termina con Y, ¿verdad? Y antes de la Y está una consonante, Eliminamos la Y, le ponemos la I y luego el ER. Happy, happier. Funny, funnier. Easy, easier. Ugly, uglier. Y acá tiene un cambio en, en, en cuanto al uso. Miren, grande, más grande. Caliente, más caliente. Delgado, más delgado. Gordo, más gordo. Feliz, más feliz. Divertido, más divertido. Fácil, más fácil. Feo, más feo. Ok, cuando tenemos eso, lo que nos hace es cambiarnos, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que en realidad nos quieren comparar, nos quiere decir que más que, ¿verdad? Ok, good. No question. No. Ok. Now, acabamos con la parte que nos decía Aminda, ¿verdad? When we compare two things or people using long words, aquí tenemos lo que él nos dice, ¿verdad? Ok, let me listen to Vanessa. Can you please read it? Debbie? Hello. Can you please read mm, it? Yes. When we compare two things or people using long words, three or more syllables, we add more plus adjective plus then. Okay. See, for example. For example, Maria is more beautiful than Jennifer. Next one. This this book is more in, interesting than the book. Very that, nice. Good. Than, than that book. Than that Sorry. book. Ok, very nice. Ok. Y acá está lo que nos preguntaba Aminda, ¿verdad? When we have a long adjectives for more than two syllables, ok, three or more syllables, so we add, we, ya no le agregamos er y el dan, sino que dejamos el adjetivo en su forma base, pero antes del adjetivo we add more. Then the adjective and then then. For example, Marie is more beautiful than Jennifer. Y está significando lo mismo, ¿verdad? María es más hermosa que Jennifer. This book is more interesting than that book. Este libro es más interesante que ese libro. Ok, estos son más fáciles de utilizar. ¿Por qué? Porque simplemente los colocamos, ¿verdad? En medio del more y el than. Porque lo que nos hace decir más que es el more than. Cuando lo utilizamos con los cortos, lo que hacemos es que eliminamos la MO. Solo agregamos el RE, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿No question? No. Oh, ok, very nice. Y luego tenemos también adjetivos irregulares. Cuando nosotros, vean, vamos a decir good, no decimos gooder, sino que decimos better. ¿Verdad? Bueno, mejor. El bad decimos worse. El far decimos further. El little decimos less. El more decimos much. Ok. So, aquí lo que hacemos es, tenemos que aprendernos estos que son irregulares, ¿verdad? Ok. Vamos a pasar al siguiente par. Ok. Ahora les toca a ustedes. 
¿Cómo quedaría el primero? More interesting. Okay. Interesting. 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 Ok, sería more interesting than, ¿verdad? Ok, repeat, more interesting than. More, more interesting, interesting than. Ok, la siguiente, short. Shorter. Shorter, ¿verdad? O shorter, como ustedes lo quieran pronunciar. Shorter. Ok, shorter than, ¿verdad? Shorter than. Ok, el dan, que no se les olvide, porque el dan siempre va a ir acompañado, ¿verdad? Puede ser la finalización R, pero siempre va a llevar el dan. Yeah. Si dice more y ahí lo, el, el adjetivo, pero siempre tiene que llevar el dan. Más que, más que, ¿verdad? Ok, far. Further than. Further, ¿verdad? Further. Ok, expensive, y aquí está lo que me preguntaba Minda, ¿verdad? Yes, more expensive. More expensive, more than expensive. Than very nice. Than. More expensive than, ¿verdad? Yeah. Easy. Tier. Yeah. E easier than, very good. Small. Smaller. Smaller than. Smaller than, good. Better. Better, than. Better, than. Better ¿verdad? Better than. High. Higher than. Higher than. Higher than. Higher than. Okay, very nice. Beautiful. More beautiful than. More beautiful than. Very good. Bad. Worse. Worse than. than. Very good. Awesome. Okay, very nice. Creo que en este estamos bastante easy, ¿verdad? Okay, este es para comparar, ¿verdad? Para comparar. Por eso se llama comparative. Ahora vamos a hablar de lo que son, ¿verdad? El superlative. Ahora vamos a hablar del superlative. Ok, vamos a ver a Minda si me puede ayudar a leer esto. Which one, teacher? This. Ah, ok. If you want to compare three or more things, people, you use the superlative. Ok, good. If you want to compare three or more things, people, etc., you use the superlative. En aquella era para comparar dos, ¿verdad? Two things. Two things or two people, ¿verdad? En esto es in order to compare more than three people. Okay? In, in other words, is to tell who is the best. ¿Quién es el mejor de todos, verdad? Ok, en aquel decimos que es más que este y que el otro. Pero pueda que haya otro que sea mejor que él, ¿verdad? Pero solo estamos comparándolo con dos. En cambio, en este lo que estamos diciendo es que no hay nadie como él, ¿verdad? Lo estamos poniendo en el top, ¿verdad? Ok, y les tengo buenas noticias. Aplicamos las mismas reglas que con el comparativo para trabajar con los objetivos que son cortos y los que son largos, ¿verdad? Okay, for example, we use in short words, one syllable, we add the adjective EST. La agregamos, miren, the, luego el adjective y el EST. For example, red car is the fastest of all, or red car is the fastest in the group. Miren, fastest, fast, fastest, the fastest. Y la oración lo que dice es, ya no dice que el carro rojo es más rápido que, sino el, el carro rojo es el más rápido de todos. El más rápido en el grupo. O sea que no hay nadie como ese carro ¿verdad? en nuestro grupo. Lo que estoy poniendo es el carro rojo en el top. ¿Verdad? Ok. The fastest. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Dinosaur is the tallest. Dinosaur is the tallest. El dinosaurio es el más alto, ¿verdad? Alto. El más alto. O sea que no hay nadie de alto como él. Este es el uso de el superlativo. Normalmente en algunos casos lleva acompañado el de. 
porque diga el más, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? El más rápido, el más alto. Very good. No questions, right? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Very good, very good. Luego tenemos, cuando utilizamos las palabras que son, ¿verdad? Los adjetivos que son largos, ¿ok? When we use long words, three or more syllables, we just add must and then the adjective. Y estamos lo mismo que anterior, ¿verdad? Allá era more than, aquí es the must. Y la ventaja es que va antes que el adjetivo, the must. For example, he is the most intelligent, intelligent sorry, student in the class. Aquí no estamos diciendo que es más inteligente que Susana, es más inteligente que Roberto, más inteligente que Miguel, I don't know, right? Aquí lo que estamos diciendo es que de la clase es el más inteligente, o sea que es el cerebrito de la clase. No hay nadie como él en la clase. Ok, the most intelligent, the most. Ok, repeat, the most. The most. The most intelligent. The most intelligent. Ok, very nice. Luego tenemos la siguiente. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. ¿Está? Y aquí está cuando alguien anda chuleando, ¿verdad? A una de las muchachas le dice que es la más linda de todo el mundo, ¿verdad? She is the most beautiful girl in the world. Es la más linda del mundo, ¿verdad? Mientras no se enojen, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. No estamos diciendo que es más bonita que alguien más, o que Lorena, o que Maritza, no. Que es la más linda del mundo. Ok, nadie como ella, ¿verdad? Ok, the most beautiful girl in the world. Good. Y tenemos también algunos irregulares. Acá es donde nosotros tenemos que acordarnos bien. Para el irregular del... Comparativo dijimos que era, del good era better. Better. El superlativo es best. 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 Ok. El, el del bad dijimos que era worst. Worst. A worst. Con, con, con E, ¿verdad? Al final era el comparativo. El superlativo solo cambia, que no es E, sino que es T. Worst. Ok, very nice. El far sí es el mismo, miren. Farther, ¿verdad? El little dijimos que era en el comparativo. Less. Less, ¿verdad? Y el superlativo sería least. Ok, very nice. Good. No question. Ok, les toca a ustedes. ¿Cómo quedaría el primero? The most creative, then. The most creative, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. La siguiente. Titi. Titus. 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 Tedious, ¿verdad? Okay. Far. 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 Teacher, can you, can you, can you, can you, far, farther, ¿verdad? Es el mismo, tanto en comparativo como superlativo. Yes, Mariano? No, teacher, Walter. Oh, Walter, yes, Walter. No, the, the, I, you can write the, the word, but I can see it in the last slide, slide before. Oh, okay, very nice, good. Ok, important. Most important. The most important. Very nice. Messi, pero no Messi el futbolista, sino que Messi el desorden. Messi el desorden. ¿Cuál sería? Messi. 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 ¿Verdad? 
messiest. Okay, big. Biggest. 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 Hamburguesa. <laughs> ah, sí, verdad, biggest. Jamás. <laughs> Good. Goodest. Goodest. The best. No. The best. The best, ¿verdad? Best. best. Ok, very nice. Noisy. Noisy. Noisy, yes, ¿verdad? Handsome. More handsome. Most handsome. The most handsome. And bad. Worst. 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 Very nice, good. Y aquí tenemos un pequeño cuadro, miren. Ok. Tenemos el cuadro de comparativo y superlativo. Si le pueden tomar el screenshot, sería bien porque ya les queda a ustedes ahí, ¿verdad? Cuando son de una sílaba y dos sílabas, ¿verdad? Solamente le agregamos R o le agregamos ST, ¿verdad? ¿Finish? No. Ok, let me know. Finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Y aquí tenemos lo que son long adjectives, lo que son de más de tres sílabas, ¿verdad? Finish? No, teacher. Okay, let me know. Thank you, teacher. Okay, finish, right? Yes. Okay. Vamos a dar hasta acá porque ya esto ya ustedes ya lo ya lo vieron teacher, anteriormente. Can yes. You, can you put the slider of the this one? The, no. Of the comparative esta no, the next one esa esa es okay ah, no para la siguiente era the next one <laughs> yeah this one ah okay very nice Thank you. Okay, very nice, good. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Vaya, esto fue información extra, ¿verdad? Que les estaba dando para que eh, refrescaran un poco, porque ya lo habían visto antes, ¿verdad? Pero para que refrescaran un poco cómo utilizarlos. Ok, ahora. Um, vamos a trabajar en el, en el mismo equipo que estábamos, ¿verdad? Y lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos... Imaginémonos que ustedes le están pidiendo, le están pidiendo asesoría para un uh, inventory, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y usted tiene que darle un consejo a, a alguien, ¿verdad? Sobre cómo hacer a right inventory, right? ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo que haremos, verdad? Ustedes van a redactar, por ejemplo, una, una pequeña carta donde ustedes le dan un proceso, ¿verdad? O le están dando la sugerencia correcta. A la persona que ustedes ¿verdad? van a ponerle cualquier nombre ficticio ahí, va. Ustedes le están recomendando cómo crear un correcto ¿verdad? uso del inventario, del, del inventory, perdón, del inventory, del inventario. Inventario, le digo desde ayer, estoy viendo el inventario yo, okay, del inventario, ¿verdad? Ok, ustedes le van a explicar eh, a través de la carta cómo hacerlo y le van a dar algunos pasos a seguir, ¿verdad? Utilizándolo. En esta parte del proceso ustedes pueden utilizar ¿verdad? los adverbs o pueden utilizar también los comparatives, pueden utilizar algunos superlatives, ¿verdad? Al momento de dar esa sugerencia, ¿verdad? Ok, no sé si hay alguna duda. ¿No? Students, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, no question. 
Okay, very nice, good. Try to be creative, okay? Elena, you were able to participate? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, sentence using superlative and comparative. No, no. Eh, no. Eh, ustedes van a imaginar que los han contratado para una asesoría en cuanto a un inventario, a cómo generar correctamente el uso de un inventario en un warehouse. Ah, uh -huh. Y en eso ustedes van a redactarle, ¿verdad? Un, digamos una carta, digamos que lo van a hacer a través de una carta. Ajá. Uh -huh cómo es el proceso correcto, acorde con lo que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Y utilizando, ahí podemos utilizar los comparativos, los superlatives, para decir, bueno, esta es la mejor forma, eh, esto es más que él o otro, etcétera. Ahí ustedes, ¿verdad? Va a ser su creatividad. Pueden utilizar también los adverbios y cualquiera de las cosas que hemos visto. Ok. Ok, very nice. Clear like horchata. Clear like a chat. <laughs> ya, ya, ya se van agotando las energías, Debbie. Ya, teacher, ya no oh. puedo más. Pero ya, ya, ya es mañana es sábado. <laughs> Ay, pues por eso, yo un trabajo. <laughs> yo también, pero esta mañana tiene la mañana libre, porque dijo que en la tarde entraba, ¿verdad? No, hasta las 12. Ah, ¿quién fue que dijo que entraba en la tarde? Ah, eh, Trini. O oh, Trini fue, va. Sí, Trini. Ah, okay, very nice. No se me olvida la, la vez de Trini. Hello, teacher asleep. <laughs> okay, very nice. I'll let you work. Okay, teacher. Thank you. These days we have a saturation. In our warehouse and okay. the inventory uh, words slow for picking Okay. Really? Really? What product have recording? Eventually, instead is. Uh huh. En lugar, instead. Instead, instead of a manual inventory. But for you, sir. ¿Cómo sería corte? Uh, Porque ahí se ve ese, ese paso de, de cerrar la facturación a cierto día. Porque me Y ya luego sería bajar la, el inventario. A work stoppage. ¿Cómo? A work 
a work. Como a work. O a bow. No, a work. Un paro de labores. O sea, oh. ese día no se trabaja, ¿no? No es factura. Mm. Mm. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Eh, la actividad es la, la siguiente del libro, ¿verdad? Ya me confundí. No. ¿Qué será la carta? Ay, please, repeat. Ok, eh, es que ustedes van a crear prácticamente como una carta de recomendación hacia alguien, ¿verdad? De cómo hacer un correcto, uh, una forma correcta de utilizar un inventario de un warehouse. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, está bien. Ajá, y ahí, pues claro, ustedes van a indicar algunos pasos, pero tienen que hacerlo formal, ¿verdad? Hello, my dear, no sé qué. It's a pleasure to uh, greet you. Uh, we would like to have. Ah, se atraiga. Ustedes tienen que poner uh -huh. su creatividad. <laughs> Bye. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Es más fácil. It's better in words. Creo que estábamos hablando. ¿Mm? Ok. Date. I return. My internet is bad. October, no, me have to see. October 7th. Mm. My father. En la carta, dear, esta carta, dear, a quién se la dirigimos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is how you will and we will receive the request and we need to determine the most better way to resolve to resolve the inconvenience to resolve the inconvenience inconvenience no sé si se escribe así ok Okay, resulting comments over over qué? No, over our warehouse. Pero ¿cuál es el inconveniente? Es pequeño. <laughs> o algo ah. así. Necesitan agrandarlo. No sé. Entonces, the most were <laughs> way to resolve the inconvenient over over the space. The space. The space. Of the of warehouse. the warehouse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can remember. I, I can remember. Understood. Yes. Yes, you are right. Understood is simple. Yes, Understand uh, is simple person. Yes, you're right. Understand. Now. So uh, do you do you want to say here in simple person or yes. you, or in past? Simple present. Simple past. I understand. I understand. I understand. Oh no, it's um, maybe that understand. Well, why is it by the words? Understand. 
uh, under is T A N D. Understand. Under stand. S T A S T A N D. Understand. A D. D. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, 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 I, 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 I need to finish I my sentence. Okay, I answer. Wait, I wait, know, I, I know. Wait, wait, I. I, I need to finish my, my sentence. Okay, continue here. Okay. What is? What is? What is? Oh, wow, what is? What is the... Why, why, maybe you, you answer your question. What is the... Why is the... Uh, the quiero, low, quiero decir que, 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 que es lo más urgente con ese producto. What, what is the uh -huh. more more what is the uh, origin most origin for this product? Okay. What is the most origin for this issue? And and in question, right? Right. Okay. Um, I know. Uh, the the most urgent problem. The most urgent problem. Answering the question. The most urgent problem. To need to need to have a solution is about the space, comma because we uh, delay the shipping. Of this year, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what we delay is that you can't really because, yes, say because or not. for the slow. Preparation for a low, a low picking. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need a uh, We need a more, uh, a, a, more a more a more bigger a more bigger no a, let, let me think most bigger um, superlative more bigger is comparative we need 
we, we need uh, a no. we need a well, you try to we say need, that this we need uh, a we a need bigger, a warehouse a, a we bigger, need a well, we need a bigger well, warehouse let me let me finish this this idea we need a warehouse biggest I think is uh, we need a bigger, bigger warehouse. Bigger the uh, the la que ya tenemos. Um, actually warehouse. The actually uh, warehouse. Like that, or you you can. You can think it's okay, or we change warehouse. You, you change, I think the correct order is we need a bigger warehouse. In warehouse, you change first a, we need a bigger a. Warehouse and then Punto. Yes. Yeah. About what? Only the teacher, this topic is very difficult. <laughs> and we don't, we don't have head to think, teacher. We uh, want to sleep. <laughs> you are thinking more in the way of sleeping, right? Yeah, yeah. this topic is difficult. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't okay. have other ideas, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's take a pillow and then close your <laughs> eyes and try to think about why you yeah. work tomorrow. You have to 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 count how do you say your way has teacher? Chips. Uh, chips, chips, yes. Así se dice, contar ovejas. Yes. <laughs> Ay, no, ya. Ya van a terminar cierta bueno. fase. Ya, por, por eso te les dije los objetivos. Ahí es solo para que. Solo de hacerla, pues. Tichel, ¿y qué fue lo que puso? Yo vi que mandó un mensaje, pero no, no lo alcanzamos a leer. Ajá, era, era dando unas indicaciones de que le hicieran tipo carta para que le fuera más fácil. Mmm. Mmm, <risa> ya. <Okay. risa> Ah, ok, teacher, thank you. <risa> okay, ya van a terminar, ya falta poquito. Uh, I went to cry, teacher. <risa> ok. Let's do home and sleep. Ups. Oh, bueno. <risa> uh, oops. <risa> oops. <risa> In regard audit, internal audit, internal audit. Jefe, ¿cómo sería jefe de auditoría interna? Vos. Oh, no, pero manager, no. Y che, si ¿sí quiero decir jefe de auditoría. Puedo decir, puedo decir main. ¿Quién? Main. Main internal audit. Auditor. Auditor. Ajá. Cuando dice eh, main es principal, ¿verdad? Es como decir. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, we finish it. I guess. Okay, take a look and then we're going to check it at uh, the rest of the class, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Y... Let me know. 
No, es pero no. ahí pues, le dije another warehouse. Well, another warehouse. More cheaper than. Than. This. Or than that. Another o sea, warehouse. More. More cheaper than than we have. Than that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know your okay. opinion. Let me know. Mm. Let me know your opinion okay yes of them regards to the warehouse warehouse team va así está bien sí da Sí. Ok. Para un poquitito más, le voy a tener un stream. Ok. Ay, ya casi termina la clase. Fix the minutes. Ya lo que termine. More cheaper. More cheaper. Lo voy a ver mañana. Y for more interest. Pero. Sí, porque. Cut. I will call day for a cut. In what action? A quote and, and then I'll give you that. Yes. And then I'll give you. Give me. You and me or what? Or... Give me. And then you, and then you are give me. Give me what? A quotation. Ah. Let, let me structure this. I will kill you. I will kill they. I, I... For a quote. And then you uh, give me, we lost here. Uh, I will call uh, day. Uh, it, 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 it's only for. Okay. Uh, yes, that, we'll call okay. day for a boy. It's understood. Understood. And I'm sorry. Uh, The cheap, the cheap, yes. Do you think? Do you think they have? They has. Is how has? They have. They have uh, good. They have uh, the best record. The best record, OS, OS, 
the re record this. Record this. Record yeah. this. Record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No me salió nada. Ah, seleccionar, dice. Ordis, ingeniero, sale. Uh -huh. Pues no, no es lo que creemos. Uh, do you think they have a, a good record? Um, And the uh, before words, yes. Yes, they have a better record than the other TPLs in the country. The other TPL, TPL, TPL. In the country, yes, they have a per okay. I throw, I throw. I throws uh, what to say, what to write this. I throws, I throws in you, you confirm I trust you, I trust, trust you. I uh, believe in you. <laughs> sin, a S, uh, sin, sin a H, trust, ST. Es, uh, I, I trust you. I trust in trust you. you. Trust you. I trust you, nada más. Trust you. Confío en ti. Okay. Teacher, what is the, the better mm, mm, way to say yo confío en ti? Es, I trust you or I am trust you? No. I trust you. I am believe, believe in you. Uh, believe in you no es muy recomendable porque eh, creer normalmente se cree en Dios, ¿verdad? I believe in God. Ah, Ajá. Okay. Lo que sí puedo decir es I believe in your words. Creo en tus palabras, ¿verdad? confío en tus palabras. Pero si dice I believe in you es como que lo, lo, lo sí. santifica o algo, ¿verdad? Es mejor decir, I believe in your words, I, I believe in feeling. what you say, or, pero si quieres decir, I trust you, confío en ti. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. And the last is, I'll call you later with the
Okay, very nice. Do you finish already? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice, good. We're all almost into finish the class, right? Ya estamos por terminar. Okay, vamos a escuchar um, algunos de ustedes en cuanto a sus cartas o si en el caso le hicieron conversation o la hayan hecho como la hayan hecho, okay, I'm going to listen to you, okay? Okay, the team of uh, Debbie and Rosibel, Naminda, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, who who's going to read it? Aminda. Aminda. Okay. Okay, por mayoría se fueron, mira, Aminda. <laughs> sí, ya vi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Eh, Jose Perez, logistic manager. I, eh, logistic manager, sorry. Okay. I hope you well when receive this request and we need to determine the better way to resolve the inconvenience over the space of the warehouse. We have some suggestions for warehouse renovation and we need a uh, shares more taller than we have at, the mo at this moment. If you don't want to spend more money, could we contract another warehouse more cheaper that we have? Let me know, let me know your opinion regards warehouse teams. Ok, muy nice. A mí da solo ahí escuché a que more cheaper escuché, ¿verdad? Yes, it's cheaper. Yes, only cheaper, ¿eh? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, muy nice, good, awesome, perfect, great job. Ok, thank okay. you. Ok, let me listen to um, Mariano and Vanessa. Ok, Okay. Mariana y Vanessa dicen que ellos, ellos estaban haciendo una lista de cómo dormirse, pero no, estaban haciendo una lista de, de las sugerencias. Dice que ellos habían pensado en dormirse, ¿verdad? Que agarrar la. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ya, yeah, que. Okay. Yeah, the cinco minutos, the five minutes to sleep. <laughs> ok, very nice. Ok, if you want, Mariano, can start. Okay, inventory controls. What are the next steps to improve co your controls? You must make a spreadsheet with all the information about the inventory. It's better than a manual inventory because it's easy to use and save all the data. 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 Update the inventory daily. It's easier than uh, once of month. month. For this important to schedule one hour at the day to accomplish to accomplish this activity. Stab, establish the inventory at the department to compare the physical inventory with the digital inventory of amount. Then we have the number four, assign an area to store the different type of products. Number five, the heaviest product must store on the first floor and the lighter on the second floor. And the last one, the most dangerous product must store in a special area and you have to put a, put signs about the risk and pre precaution in it. Awesome, very good. Great job. Thank you. Okay, very nice. And we can sleep now. No yet. We have to <laughs> the tenders list. <laughs> okay. What about Adela and Yvette? Hello. Hello. So, what about yours? Your activity. All right. Uh, Tini, can you read? Uh, and I, I present. Tini. Okay. San Salvador, October. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so, an, antes que continúen, Adela, ahí es TH. Está malo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, very nice. Good. <laughs> Okay, 
Engineer Juan Perez, warehouse supervisor present. There, Mr. Perez, is a pleasure present to you. The new procedure to take physical inventory in all us. Warehouse in accordance with the standards of good storage practice. Um, sigo, Yvette. If you want. Okay. Establish a day for closing safe. Separate invoice products that were not delivered before the inventory date. Don't let the record sales physically count each product of warehouse. Verify difference between theoretic inventory and real invent inventory physical product. Notice the result of Financial area. Area. Quien, area. Quien regards. Ingeniero Duban Castillo, may international, internal auditor. Ingeniero. Come on. Engineer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice, Adela. Okay, awesome. Very good. Okay, and right now we're going to listen to Carlos and Walter. Okay, let me let me share. Uh, let me know when you can see. Okay, yes. Is it readable? Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you there? I wonder what is happening with the inventory. Hello, Carlos. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Okay. Hi, Walter. What happened with your inventory? Hello, Carlos. Will this day we we have a saturation in our warehouse and the inventory was slow for picking. Really, what product has biggest problem? The most problem I think is that the year of Bad Bunny Rose. I understand. This product have the best demand in the inventory. What is the most urgent for this, this year? The most urgent problem to need to have a solution is about space because we delay the chipping of the t-shirt for the slow picking. We need a bigger warehouse than actually warehouse because we can store more product. Yes, I am thinking your idea is the most correctly for this problem. You can help us with uh, 3 PS services. I know uh, the cheapest TPL in the country. I will call today for a quote. The cheapest? Do you think they have a good record in the before words? Yes, they have a better record than other TPL in the country. Okay, I trust you. I am going to call later with the offer. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Awesome. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Very nice, students. Uh, it's time to take the attendance list. Pero antes quiero recordarles algo. Um, ya vamos a terminar este módulo. Lo terminamos el martes, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, necesito que vayan al día con las actividades para que no, le, no se saturen, ¿verdad? Si pueden terminar las tareas uh, 
para que ya el martes ustedes terminen la clase y ya solo vayan a, a descansar y se good, ¿verdad? Porque también tienen que hacer un examen final. Si ustedes se fijan, tienen que hacer un examen final ahí. Entonces ya eso sí no lo puedo esperar para el miércoles, ¿verdad? Sino que tiene que ser, si no lo hizo el lunes, ¿verdad? Tiene que hacerlo el martes después de la clase. Pero no, no puedo decir, teacher, me da chance para el miércoles. No, ¿verdad? Porque yo tengo que entregar el reporte de ustedes el miércoles a las 8 de la mañana. Así que espero que me colaboren con, con eso, ¿verdad? Que podamos tener las actividades y eh, que tengan todas las actividades finalizadas desde la 1, ¿verdad? Que asegurarse que hayan hecho todas las actividades, el, el midterm, ¿verdad? Y el examen final, porque eso es muy importante. De igual manera con los minutos, ¿verdad? No es necesario que estén conectados a las dos horas porque ya es lo último. Así que eso. También ustedes ya saben que van a recibir un correo para, o van a recibir también un, un WhatsApp, para lo que es la, la encuesta de satisfacción que se pasa siempre, ¿verdad? Al final. Si la reciben, no la vayan a contestar porque eso se contesta en la clase. Así que ustedes ya, ya saben de eso, ¿verdad? No la vayan a contestar, sino que esperan hasta que la contestemos en la clase porque hay que hacerlo al mismo tiempo. Ok, very nice. No questions, ¿verdad? Mister. Yes. Mister. Uh, the, the exam is in the platform or with you? No, in the platform. El, igual que el midterm. Así como hicieron el midterm, oh. así, también ahí van a encontrar también el, el exam, el final exam. Oh, ok, thank you, mister. Ok, very nice. Another question? No, right. Ok. Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. Very nice. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Very nice. Belén Batre García. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Very nice. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present. Ok. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Ok. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe. No, Leticia no here, right? No. Ok. Mariano José Pacas Santa María. Present, teacher. Ok. Oscar Anulfo Viator Herrera. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel de Carmen López. Good night. Good night. Salvador Augusto Soto Rivas. Present, mister. Ok. Sonia Iveta Alvarenga. Present. Ok, very nice. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present, teacher. Ok, ya, estoy casi durmiéndose, ¿verdad, Vanessa? No, teacher. Ok, casi no se nota, pero está bien, Vanessa. It's time to sleep, ¿verdad? Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ok, y Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok, students. So, see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.